All right, time for a DFS preview of tonight's 11-game slate around the NHL. Here to help, RotoWire's Paul Bruno and AJ Scholes, along with Pete Jensen, host of the Fantasy on Ice podcast for NHL.com. So, guys, we usually start every DFS segment here talking about Austin Matthews, but this time, Paul, your guy got in a little bit of trouble, suspended for two games for cross-checking Buffalo's Rasmus Dahlin in the Heritage Classic. So, with Matthews off the slate at center, Paul... Who are you paying up for at that position? Well, there's a lot of leagues to other top centers in action tonight, and a few of them have tough matchups. I'm going to fade a couple of them. For instance, I prefer to fade McKinnon because of his visit to L.A. They've been playing a lot of tight checking hockey, good quality hockey as well. So they'll be a tough out. I also look past Alex Barkov because of the Panthers' visit to a Sharks club that may be feeling a little bit better about their game after two straight wins against L.A. and the return of Eric Carlson has certainly helped on the back end. Instead, I look at the Edmonton one-two punch and I opt for dry side a lot of those two guys simply because he's a high volume shooter over McDavid who's more of a pass first guy more often than not. They get a really good matchup against the Detroit club that's given up 27 goals in their last five games and he'll cost $8,200 to me. Pete, who's your dude at the dot? I like two guys, but I'll start with JT Miller. He's been on a tear right now. If you haven't heard, his name has been thrown around in some trade rumors because the Uh, Vancouver Canucks are a fringe playoff team, you could say, if that. Uh, But JT Miller has kept this going uh, from before the coaching change to Bruce Boudreau, and he's even taken it a step further afterwards. 12-game point streak with 24 points in the span, two points per game. That matches up against any of the stars out there. And I also like Tomas Hurdle. I was looking at his home splits and some of the things that Paul was just saying. Uh, Tomas Hurdle has 30 points in 30 home games this season and he's only 5,300 against the Florida Panthers at home. All right, how much money are you spending at center, AJ? Well, I love Pete's call on Pittsburgh's JT Miller, or soon to be Pittsburgh's JT Miller. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I mean, I agree with Paul on dry sidle too. I'd rather have him than McDavid just because of that $800 price difference. Uh, you can squeeze some other players in there. But uh, if you're looking further down at the center position, I like Rupe Hints at 5,700 for Dallas. I know Paul's going to hate hearing that, but uh, the fact of the matter is they're going to use uh, uh, Eric Colgren in the Nets tonight, making his first NHL start for the Maple Leafs. Uh, so Dallas might be a good opportunity to stack here. Rupe Hints, 5,700, plenty of points uh, in recent production, and the Leafs are just going to try and outscore opponents for the next two weeks until they get Jack Campbell back.